recently Microsoft uh, released the developers preview for uh, Windows IoT so the key feature of this uh, developer preview is that uh, it has got Cortana built in which means uh, you can run uh, Cortana on uh, devices which are capable of running uh, Windows 10 IoT so today I'll show you as to how you can uh, get Cortana running on your Raspberry Pi say beat any Raspberry Pi uh, the Raspberry Pi 2 or the Raspberry Pi uh, 3 so first and foremost uh, you need the IoT dashboard I have given the download links in the description of this video so go to set up a new device choose the device type as Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 and uh, you have two options over here one option is the IoT core uh, 15063 this is a stable version not the developers preview so you need the developers or the insider preview for that choose the Windows insider preview and in order to download the uh, preview versions you need to be uh, registered as a uh, Windows 10 uh, developer so for that sign into the Windows uh, Insider program you can just sign in using your uh, Microsoft account okay so once you sign in uh, it will go into a verifying uh, loop and after that you need to have your uh, micro SD card inserted you can uh, give your name to your device by default it will be a uh, min win PC you can uh, change it to whatever you want and then assign an administrator password you need to remember this password and uh, this this will be the key for your access to the uh, IOT devices choose uh, accept software license and terms and you can select your Wi-Fi connection as well and then choose download and install choose continue so once the download completes the flashing process will start and the Windows uh, 10 IoT dashboard will uh, flash the OS into your SD card so this will take uh, quite a bit of time So after the initial formatting process is complete, you will get a uh, pop up like this which uh, requests your permission. So choose yes and now uh, you will get a command prompt pop up which will give you a status of your flashing process. So after the flashing process completes uh, you will get a message like this which says that your SD card is ready and uh, gives a basic outline of the steps that you need to take in order to get your uh, IoT device up and running. So unplug the SD card from your uh, computer and uh, insert it onto your Raspberry Pi board. So it will take a couple of minutes for your device to get ready after your uh, first boot so go into your my devices so as soon as your uh, device is ready you should uh, see it appear over here
so first uh, your device will appear with the default name the min win pc and then uh, the file systems will expand and uh, the name will uh, change to the one that you assigned okay so now you can see that the device name has changed to what I actually assigned now right click and choose open a device portal so the default uh, username will be administrator and the password will be the one that you assigned during the setting up process So first if you want to change your device name you can do it over here. I have actually connected a webcam to act as a microphone. So you can set the microphone volumes over here. It says Raspberry Pi uh, 2 but actually it is a Raspberry Pi 3. This does not make any difference whatsoever. And so down below you can set your time zones. and then uh, you can change the display resolution to match the monitor that you will be using and uh, most important of all uh, you need to select start Cortana on boot so these are the preliminary steps that you need to take to get Cortana running and then go into windows update and check for updates actually uh, you will receive two updates first one as soon as you set up your uh, device and the second one will be like a couple of days after you set up your device so under uh, processes and performance uh, you can uh, clearly see the different uh, resource utilizations so we have the CPU memory network and uh, input and output devices okay so let me just uh, switch the screens from uh, the IoT portal uh, to the Pi itself. So this is the basic setup I have got. A speaker for the Cortana and then uh, I'll be using my webcam as a microphone as I told earlier. And then uh, the Ethernet cable and of course a dongle for a USB keyboard at a mouse. Okay, so let me pan over uh, to the screen now. So first and foremost, click on the gear icon over here next to the power button. And then you can set your language and keyboard over here. Go into Cortana and then turn on let Cortana respond to hey Cortana. And so you'll be asked for a confirmation just make sure to choose sure and again you need to sign in uh, into your Microsoft account so go back to the basic preferences and again come back to Cortana so you'll have the tab enabled now if you say hey Cortana what is the time now Hey Cortana, what is the temperature? Right now, it's 7 degrees and partly cloudy. Okay, so one thing uh, which I found which I like to share at this point is the Cortana uh, in Raspberry Pi is causing the CPU to throttle so what I mean to say is 
right now the cortana is uh, turned on but it is not working for you which means uh, it's not listening to your uh, microphone input or it is not giving out any audio feed out so when the cortana is not in action actually uh, you can see that the cpu utilization is about uh, 35 or 20 percent it, it hovers around uh, 25 to 30 percent so when you have the cortana working for you the cpu utilization uh, reaches 100 percent so i think there is a, there would be a need for you to overclock your uh, raspberry pi if you want to utilize the maximum potential of uh, cortana so i'll call out the cortana again you can uh, see the uh, cpu utilization so right now it is hovering at around uh, 30 percent or uh, say around around that region so hey cortana play movie game so as you can see as soon as cortana kicks in cpu clocks at around uh, at full uh, you the movie I've got in mind? Clue number one. What movie do you think of when you hear this list? A border town, a shocking killing, and a blurry line between what's right and what's legal. Next clue, please. So as you can see, no CPU utilization has touched the maximum. Alright, clue number two. Does this sound familiar? The strangest vengeance ever planned. The Vengeance Plant. No, that's not right. Third and final clue. What movie comes to mind when you hear Come On? Read my future for me. Touch of Evil. You correctly guessed Touch of Evil in two terms. Do you want to try another one? Yes. Can you guess the movie I've got in mind? Clue number one. What movie does this list remind you of? A magical crystal, pirates, legendary treasure, and a search for a lost civilization. Next clue, please. Clue number two. What movie comes to mind when you hear the Earth speaks to all of us, and if we listen, we can understand? Next clue, please. You can see that uh, the CPU utilization is still hovering around 100%. Here's your last clue. The story of Chia was the heart of this movie. Uh, can you give the answer? No. That's not right. You have three guesses left. Give me the answer, please. I was thinking of Castle in the Sky. Do you want to play again? No. Thanks for playing. Next time, you can say play movie game. So when the Cortana quits the screen, you can see the uh, CPU, uh, CPU utilization drop down drastically. So now the CPU utilization is uh, back to its, say, the normal working ranges. So this is why I feel that uh, you may have to overclock your Raspberry Pi in order to use the Cortana feature uh, to its full potential. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. So I hope that uh, this video was useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.